Hey everyone, Mary and I just wanted to talk to you very briefly about kind of a big shift and change happening at Epiphany Station. Uh, for this summer, we've decided to uh, kind of put our Sunday morning experiences on hold and instead we're going to have Sunday evening worship experiences that are going to be Sunday at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. throughout the summer. Mm -hmm. um, one of the big reasons for doing that is we feel like God's moving us and kind of re-envisioning who we are, what we focus on and prioritize. And so especially for the first five weeks of the summer, we're going to be spending time talking through that. So if you come to a Sunday night, we're going to be talking about where God's moving us as individuals and as a whole church family. So we really hope that you can make it. Yep. It's a big reveal, honestly, of what God is revealing to us. And so I'm super excited because then you guys get to know what God's showing us. And I bet... I bet it's going to confirm a lot of things that God's already showing and talking to you about. I want to let you know we have full e-kids and e-babies for the entire experience. So right at 6 when you get here or 545, you can check your kids in. And we're going to have so much fun with them. We have, we have a crazy fun worship room. We have a science lab room. We have a theater room. We have an um, art room. We have so much for the kids. Think of like the maybe the best vacation Bible school you've ever been to. That's what we're going to be having every single Sunday night. The team right now is upstairs working on it. It's going to be so much fun. So get here early. Get, get a seat. Um, get your kids checked in. The earliest will be 545 that they can go on upstairs and go into e-babies and e-kids. So that's going to be amazing. That's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the big questions we've had has been like, okay, so, uh, you know, no Sunday morning stuff. What am I supposed to do with that? And I know it's like that's the normal place for it. And that's kind of the reason that we've done this to kind of get us unstuck from some, some habits and some patterns. But what are you going to do with your Sunday morning? And so here's some, some thoughts that we have. We love it when people like go and visit other church families. Yes. Like go and see other people worship the Lord, go see other people and how they enjoy each other and enjoy the church. So if you've maybe from out of town, go to a church in your own hometown yeah. or go to somewhere else that you've always wanted to visit, always wanted to see. Yes. We don't feel bad about that. Yep. We believe in the whole church doing what the whole church should do. Mm -hmm. So then you can also, if you're a lake person, no rushing back from the lake, enjoy it. Enjoy the rest. Yeah. COVID's been a crappy year. Yes. So just actually have a restful summer. Yes. Um, sleep in if you need to sleep in. Yes. Have a healthy breakfast if you want to have time to make yes. yourself a healthy breakfast. Mm -hmm. Get up and don't rush your kids to church. Yep. But instead maybe read the Bible with them in the mm -hmm. morning. Maybe put on some worship songs and just have church in your home on a Sunday morning. If you really want something that you want to do that's yes. going to move you to love God, love people, mm -hmm. you can do that. And then we'll gather everyone together at the end of the day and we'll have some time too. Yeah, totally. So specifically this Sunday night, I'm very excited that we have a guest worship uh, leader coming. He helped us with worship all throughout quarantine, Mr. Paul Wiggs. He's coming this Sunday night and we get to hear some of the songs that we've heard him do so many times during quarantine. I'm so excited. So this Sunday, 6 p.m., we will have coffee. Yeah. It'll be weird. Just in case for those of you who like really need that <laughs> cake. We hope you can make it. Yeah. We hope to see you this Sunday. All right. Back to back.